TikTok has played a bigger role in impacting uh, those unplanned or impulse purchases than some of the other social platforms. Um, goes right along with that content on the, on the platform. It's short form, quick videos. People are moving fast. So no surprise to hear that um, it's really impacting those unplanned and, and impulse purchases. I'm here to kind of tell you that I, I think that TikTok fits with in the full customer journey. So uh, while we're going to focus pretty exclusively on e-commerce today, there is a lot of opportunity in some of the discovery. So some of those bigger buys that happen on the platform, um, doing some research, running Lyft studies. and Of all the platforms out there, TikTok boasts the highest engagement rate. When you look at micro-influencers in general, you're going to be using, it, it's better to use a micro-influencer over a macro-influencer at scale because a macro-celebrity influencer might get one or two percent engagement rate on their posts for you, whereas a micro or nano influencer might get five to ten plus percent engagement rate. So if you can build a lot more micro influencers in general, that's going to yield a higher ROI and higher engagement. Now you go one step further and TikTok itself as a platform has the best engagement uh, of all the platforms out there. So really getting into the micro influencer side on TikTok is going to be is going to be key for your success on the platform. Uh, for some numbers here, you can see that on Instagram, 3.86% uh, engagement rate on average among micro-influencers, even less on YouTube, and a whopping 18% engagement rate on TikTok. And this kind of goes into the mood boosting concept, but 90% of TikTok users visit the, the app daily, and they spend about an hour or more on it uh, on average. So it's just, there's so much a tension on TikTok right now and it's fun. So here I'll touch on some platform specific strategies related to TikTok. And it's it's such a great way to such a great way to engage organically. I know that sounds like like we're just exactly what it is, but it's so it can be such a natural way to engage. And that's the part where it's great that if we're not overthinking it. Um, TikTok has a unique ability to drive users from that awareness to action stage so quickly. And, you know, someone doesn't even have to see a post on TikTok. They can see that on Twitter and still be influenced by that organic type of creative. Go to where the attention is. And that kind of makes sense, right? Because where there is intention, there is intent. And if you know what your target market is and your target customer, then you can sort of insert yourself to where those potential customers are or existing customers are and kind of drive them into your funnel. And again, that all, that all kind of makes sense. But, um, you know, even as you get there, where the attention is, there's also the data. So you can be agile and react to what your customers are doing. You know, when I think of the three things that I'm trying to accomplish in tasks, they all fall into kind of three buckets. Is this driving more traffic? 